two of the most terrifying words in the English language, long division. So today we're going to tackle long division. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Try your best. And if you need any help, make sure you get some from someone at home who thinks they know how to do long division. So stay calm, watch the video, rewind if you need to, and you're going to be fine. There's sort of a pattern. You kind of do the same steps over and over again until you're done. And I'll show you how to do it step by step. When For your homework tonight, you're only going to have a few problems, so just try to do the best you can on them. And again, watch the video. Try, the, try to do the best you can. The first problem I'll show you will not have a remainder. I'll give you a hint. There's going to be no remainder in this problem. Okay, so that means it'll work out evenly with no no leftover, so to speak. Again, I'll show you step by step. All right, let's get started on our first example. Problem number one. 120 divided by five. Well, how many fives are in 120? Well, you could count by five till you get to 120, and that would do it. But let me show you how you do it using division. So 120, the first number is one. The question I would like you to ask yourself is how many groups of five can I get out of a group of one? The answer is none. You can't get any groups of five out of one because one is much smaller than five. So no groups of five in one. How about we look at it as a 12? Okay, 12 is bigger than five, so there'll be groups of five. How many? Well, what I'm asking here is if you put 12 in the groups of fives, how many groups of fives would you have? Okay, well, the answer is gonna be two because two times five is 10. And 10 is close to 12, and without being too too big or too small. It's just about right. It's the best answer we can do. Let me show you the steps then. Okay, so I think there are two groups of five and 12. So I write two up top over the two of the, as there, because that's the number I'm thinking about dividing into the 12. So two times five. I'm gonna write that answer down under the 12. Two times five. Okay, well two, times 5 is 10. So I put that under the 12 because that's the number I'm dividing by 5, 12. 2 times 5 is 10. That gets me nice and close. Now I'm going to subtract 10 from 12 to see what's left over. When I've subtracted 2 times 5, which is 10, from 12, I get 2 left over. But now I still have to deal with this 0. The zero is part of my 120. I haven't dealt with it yet. I've only dealt with the one and the two. I gotta keep going. So the zero now is gonna come down next to the two and form 20, because that's what's left of the 120. Let me show you how I would want you to do that step. Okay, so I just slide that zero down, or whatever number it would be, I slide it down. In this case, it's a zero. I drew a green line to show you that strategy. I like to do that. That shows me that I know I took care of the zero. I even kind of drew where it goes. And if you do that, it'll show you know what to do. So my next question really isn't five in the 120 because I took care of the one and two with the 10. Two times five is 10. Now my question is how many fives, I'm still dividing by five, go in the 20? Not the 120 anymore, but what's left is 20. So up here, what times five gets me 20? Because today I know I don't have a remainder because I said that going forward. So what number times five gets you close to 20? Okay, well I know four, I'm putting a four next to my two because I know if I know that four times five gets me really close to 20. In fact, it gets me exactly 20. So I, I, I take four, times five, I take that number times that number and write it under what this number is, which is 20. So there's my 20, four times five is 20. 
Now what do I do? I subtract. I'm going to subtract 20 from 20. Okay, I did my math. 4 times 5 is 20. I subtract that. I get 0. There's no remainder. I used all my numbers. I took care of my 1, my 2, my 0. I broke it down. The answer is how many 5s are in 120? 24. 24 times 5 is 120. 5 times 24 is 5. Let's do another one with no remainder. Okay, let's try this one. How many 4s are in 132? How many groups of 4 would be in 132? Okay, first question. Will 4 go into 1? Can I get a group of 4 out of 1? No. Next question. 13. Can I get groups of 4 out of 13 things? Answer, yes. Question to you, how many? Think about that. I'll come back and show you the answer. I think I can get three full groups of 4 out of 13. So I put 3 above the 3 there because 1 didn't do me, I didn't have any groups of 4 out of 1. So out of 13, I think I can get 3. What I'm going to do next is take 3 times 4 and then write it below my 13. That's what I'm going to do. 3 times 4 is going to tell me how close that is to 13. 3 times 4, I write down 12. That's, what, that's as close as I can get using 4s to 13 without being too big or too small. Next, I'm going to subtract to see how short or I am of that. So 12 minus 13 is 1. That's what... There's one out of that group, one hanging out. But I'm not done because that's just part of my 132. Now, I took care of the 13 is how I'm calling it. I took care of it because I've taken the 12 away from the 13. That one comes down, then I slide my two down next to my blue one, whatever number that is, and I take the next number and slide it down. In this case, it's gonna make a 12, isn't it? Slide the two down by the one. So I slide my two down, now I have 12. So now my whole question becomes, how many 4s are in 12? Because that's the new problem i got to deal with to get the whole answer. Well, look at 3 times 4 is 12. Huh. So what's 3 times 4 going to be? Uh, 12. And that's what I want. I want to get as close to 12 as possible. Maybe exactly 12. I think it's going to be exactly 12, right? It should be. So I used... I use purple there to show you the purple step in a sense. It doesn't really a purple step, but so I took, I wanted that three, the purple three times the four gets me that 12 because three times four is 12. So now I, I put the number down. I'm going to subtract to see if there's a remainder. There's, there's not going to be one. When I subtract, I get zero, which means there's nothing left over. The four groups go evenly into 132. There's nothing left over, so my answer is 33. How many fours, groups of four, are in 132? 33. Multiply, subtract, put the number down, drag the next number down, multiply, subtract, you're done. In this case, there's no remainder. We're going to do one more, and this one is going to have a remainder. It's going to have something left over, which is fine. Last one, and this one I'm going to give you a hint, is going to have a remainder. All right, again, every time it's the same question. That's what I mean by there's a pattern. The 144, how many fives in that? Well, the first question, how many fives, how many groups of five can I get out of one, which is in the hundreds place? Answer, none. Five isn't as big as one. So my next thought is how many fives are in 14? Okay, 5, 10, 10 is less than 14, 5, 10, 15, 15 is bigger. I can't be bigger, so my answer has to be the 10 answer, which is 2 times 5. Again, you're going to multiply 2 times 5, put it down, and subtract, and then pull down your number. Let's do that step. Okay, that's the answer. There's four 
left over when I take 10 away from 14. So now I bring down my 4 here because that's the number I have left to deal with. It makes that 44. So again, just showing you that step, I'm drawing the line to show that I move my 4 down. That's where it needs to be. Next question, how many 5s are in 44? Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, that's pretty close. 45 is too big, it's bigger than 44. What was my next best choice? 40, what is that? 5, 10, okay, figure that out. How do you get 40 using five? I think eight's my best choice. So I'm gonna take eight times five and put it, whatever that answer is, under my 44 and subtract multiply, write down, subtract. Okay, that's what your step should look like. Looks just like that. Now I'm gonna subtract 44 from 40, or, or 40 from 44 is what I meant to say, I'm sorry. Don't wanna screw you up. I'm gonna take 40 away from 44. When I do that, I get four left over. That's what my remainder is gonna be. Is that okay? Yes, because if I have four left over, that means I couldn't get another group of five out of that group. There's just four there. That's left over. The other thing to notice is I took care of all my numbers. Took care of the one with the four, and then I took care of that second four and brought it down, which turned it into 44. This is a little bit of the confusing part. You just try to follow the steps of the video. So that leftover four is my remainder, and I'll show you how to write that. And there's my final answer, 28 remind, remainder of four. So how many groups of five are in 144? Well, there are 28 groups of five, but then I have four left over, which is what happens when I divide 144 by five. So that's how you do one with remainder. So for today's assignment, please do the following, one, Watch this video first. Two, play the math game that I'm going to send for long division. It's a game, but try to make it work. Try to get the right answers. Three, I'm gonna give you one, two, three long division problems. They're not gonna be very long today. Two will not, two will not have a remainder, and one will. Don't let that throw you. If you need to redo the video to get yourself fixed up, just take your time. And remember, it's always okay to ask for help. Bye-bye for now. Good luck. Look forward to seeing your work.